Hello and welcome back viewers of AVG News. My name is Mkholi Sengube. Uh, I'm here to talk to those who want to relocate to Zimbabwe after the expiry of the Zimbabwe exemption permit at the end of this year and those who want to send their property back home in the event that the permits are not renewed. So this is an update based on the questions that some of you have been uh, asking and the stuff that some of you have been sending. You will remember that uh, a few weeks ago we came live on this uh, YouTube channel and spoke to you uh, advising you that the Zimbabwean government has uh, agreed to consider the plight of those of you who have the Zimbabwe exemption permit but who are skeptical about their chances of having the, their status moved to the mainstream South African permit due mainly to a lack of qualifications and the stringent conditions that they need to satisfy in order for them to move. So nothing has been uh, finalized yet. The government is still considering the means and ways uh, to assist you but uh, what they would need again is to know specifically what form of assistance you may need uh, so so far we've received uh, calls from people who want to be assisted uh, with a waiver of duty or a reduction of duty on some of their property and the property that they're talking about is motor vehicle is furniture is machinery and other stuff that is uh, heavy uh, heavy duty so they are asking for a waiver on those uh, on, on duty on those or a complete uh, a reduction so we still need to know what form of assistance as well you'd need some also are, are, are requesting that maybe the government could uh, offer them uh, cheaper transport compared to what is already on the market because we know that considering the low chances uh, of permits being renewed, many people uh, will be in a rush to take their property home and that will escalate uh, the need for transport and that will automatically mean that the bus services and uh, Omalaicha that are there are going to take advantage of that and charge exorbitant fees which may lead to other people uh, having to sell some of their property or abandoning it in South Africa. So they are requesting for a cheaper means of transporting their property back home. Uh, so this is what we have for now. Uh, but we would like you to send us via the comment section uh, some of the assistance that you may need and the type of property that you would like to transport uh, so that uh, we may then uh, refer this to the responsible minister and ask if they are able to assist you in that regard and then we'll come back here and update you. Uh, so before uh, I sign off, I would like to request you uh, to subscribe to this channel, share this video and like it. Thank you very much.